morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. It's really early in the morning. So whatever that side of diaspora that you own, y'all forgive me. Um, Black Lives Matter, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> okay, for those of y'all who don't know what I'm talking about, y'all welcome to the mental house. This is where, you know, hey, we get to go crazy. I saw a video that went viral today, and it was just so crazy. <laughs> North Shore Nancy, that's what we call them here. Um, decided to go into the gas station and start talking crazy to the Mexican or, yeah, the Mexican lady in the store telling her to go back to where she came from. Now, I just want to share with y'all. I know this this video is not to hurt anybody, get anybody up in the row. It's just to let you see just how crazy mental and how mental illness and racism is all in the same thing. It's sick. It's a it's uh it's a narcissism. It's worse. It's I mean it's all everything encompassed in one. Okay. Now no I don't mean to laugh and be disrespectful to any of the players, but it is what it is. So what happens is the Mexican lady <laughs> said <laughs> she was just attacked. But no, uh, for a reason, I guess, this lady thought she should go first. Whatever. I didn't see the total duration. But here's what the accumulation factor of it was. I heard the, boy, the, the Mexican lady say, Black lives matter, bitch. <laughs> Black lives matter, bitch. And um, <laughs> that's what I heard for sure. So I started tuning in. So for all of y'all who say, you know, nobody roll with us. I'm saying, you know what, that's we we gotta start thinking outside the box as black people. Please think bigger than George. Think movement. Yeah, yeah. This is a resetting of the society, but in a positive way. I look at I look at it all and whether I make it to the other side or not is irrelevant. I have grandchildren and I know that it's gonna be a new day for them. Okay? Because <laughs> North Shore Nancy's all over the United States is getting a reality check. And so are the um the nitwit um the the bull bull crap bobs that follow people around with cameras. I mean let me just say this. And this is to my psychotic Mentally ill who can't handle what's going on with white people. Because I have compassion. And I, I have to say to you. I have to say to you. You have to understand that what you're going through right now. I, I understand. You're going through what they call cognitive dissonance. You're finally understanding what... Um, you know, maybe you might have heard about, maybe you never heard about. But the fact that the color scheme is changing in America and you have everywhere you turn, you see in a Mexican or a black, I'm sure that's beginning to bother you. Because you were given the false illusion that this was a white man's country. You were given the illusion that this was y'all's. When I say y'all's, I mean the European, the Caucasian. See, you have those who have woken, they've, they've, they've woken up and they realize that, damn, okay, so you wanted to crap on the Native American. But even, you know, then you had the, the, the Mexican, the Spanish American War, right? Was it the Mexicans? Okay, then you got to come on and re remember, you, you had a chance to relegate everybody to spots that you wanted them to be in, just like on a chessboard. But now, Everything is moving in unison, and it's been doing that. It's just constantly moving towards progression. 
and it's hard for you to accept. So then what you're doing is you everywhere you go, you freak out. You start something or you think that person is not supposed to be there because you're not used to seeing white people and dealing with white people in your neighborhood. But it ain't like that now. And so I just want you to know that what you're dealing with is a form of a reality check that you never had to deal with. And because I'm a human being, I'm letting you know it's coming. So get that stuff in check. Um, even if you have to go home and beat your pillow and go in the basement and get a punching bag, you may not go out in public and exude and, and, and throw up your mental illness on everybody. It's just like watching The Exorcist when Reagan spewed all that green vial upon everybody. Lord, ah, and and, and you know, <laughs> nobody is going to sit there and let you do that anymore. It's because that's what you guys were used to doing to black and brown people. And I want you to know that this is, if, you know, nobody's accepting that type of treatment. So it's going to help you once you get that through your mind. And if you need to go to some therapy or whatever to let, because it is wrong. It has hurt you for you to have grown up in a society full of lies. And so now, Every every uh, truth pressed to the earth will rise. That's an African proverb. You understand what I'm saying? Truth pressed to the earth will rise. Okay? Just like when elephants fight, the grass suffers. You know, you need to learn some African proverbs. And if you can just get in touch with your feelings, not just your thinking and what you've been taught, your indoctrination. But if you can get past that, you might can survive. You might can survive and go into the new world. A lot of y'all ain't going to make it. I know emotionally and mentally, I'm ready to make it um, to the new world. Because I, I never let people knock me off my square when they get mad at me and say, Oh, you should join on one. This is what's got Yes, I ain't going to never, ever, ever deny where my heart is. And y'all already know, I don't have to... To defend my 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 color, that's ridiculous. What I try to get my clan to understand is that some of this stuff is so detrimental. I know you want to feel like you want to do it, and you don't need no help, and you and you want to keep everything separate. You don't want to be bothered. You want to just be black people. There's some of y'all who really think like that. Some of y'all can't even go far enough to realize that at one time in civilization that we all did business with one another. We all traded. And before this race, this construct of race became an issue, we once lived peacefully together. We didn't say, oh, that's a white man over there, or that's a brown man. We didn't do that. Because, first of all, we all knew that all life started in Africa. Tell it from the mountain. I and the eve of the planet. All nations have come from my womb. All of them. So that's why when you see black people not having the heart of white folk like that. It's because in my opinion, in my humble opinion, even on the spiritual level, we know that these are our wayward children. Okay? And ain't nothing you can do to break that spirit. Nothing. Nothing you can do to break that spirit of us knowing that. OK, so when I'm saying that, don't get mad because you see a black person standing out there with a white person wanting to knock down these walls of madness because the system. That we try to knock down, not people. OK, we hate oppression. We try, like Bobby Seale said, I ain't trying to hate nobody because of the color of their damn skin. I hate oppression and whoever is being oppressed. You understand what I'm saying? That's the sign I'm on. Okay, so there's some white people who don't get that because they ain't never had they ain't never had to experience the world from an oppressed point of view. So the hell with them. They go they 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 get ready to go through a learning process, a learning curve. Okay, because they haven't filtered their soul. They just been going on living a, a good life, 
as if this is the way things are supposed to go. Who cares if black men get shot down the street? Who cares if Tamir Rice is a 12-year-old boy and gets shot in the park? Hope you shouldn't have bought your son a, tw uh, a toy gun. Uh, you know, so there's going to always be that kind, the North Shore Nancy kind. But then there's always going to be one in the North Shore Nancy that say, hey, I belong to the human family. And I believe that God made us into tribes and families that we may get to know one another, not antagonize one another. This is my belief. You ain't got to believe it with me. I'm just saying, don't tell me that, I, you know, yes, I believe in love. It's the strongest force on the planet. But I also know hate can get some shit moving too. And I will never deny that. Ying and yang. Remember, you got to have the positive on the battery and you got to have the negative on the battery for them both to fire up. Keep that in mind. So when I say the heart of this is love, no, I'm not interested in um, uh, people that say we don't need an integration type of a movement. This is something that the universe is, is in control of. The universe is in control of. Okay, so whatever y'all want to think or whatever, um, that's on you. Think whatever you want to. Then you have a free will, but that's what I choose to believe. Okay, I choose to believe that. Now, with that being said, to people like North Shore Nancy's that like to go in and tell, or, or barbecue Becky's, um, people who are um, just really having a hard time seeing black and brown people where they live, get over it. Get over it, because we coming. We coming. Okay? And like a tree that's planted by the water. What's that song? I shall not be moved. <laughs> All right? If you like what you hear, please like, please subscribe, y'all, and share the video. Okay? All right, I'll see you in the next video.